for in uh, this afternoon to our April board meeting. Uh, everybody's back fresh from spring break and ready to go, I bet. So, anyway, first thing we do, uh, next we'll have a inspiration and we'll do the pledge and then we'll move on from there. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. So, our inspiration comes from uh, James Clear, who uh, wrote the New York Times bestseller, Atomic Habits, and he says, laughter itself cannot make a great relationship, but the lack of it can spoil one. So uh, I agree with that wholeheartedly. So if you would all stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You can be seated. Thank you. Uh, first portion of our meetings we set aside for public participation and nobody signed up beforehand. Yes, sir. Anybody signed up at the door? Yes, sir. No, anybody wanted to address the board and didn't get a chance to sign up? Hearing none, then we'll move on to the most pleasant part of our meeting, Mr. Yes, sir. Here it is. The most pleasant part of our meeting. So, several uh, recognitions tonight are on the agenda. And uh, up first, we have uh, Mr. Bradford. Ronnie Bradford, would you come up here, sir? So, Mr. Bradford has a couple of students tonight. I know one is here, yes. but, but we may not have the other one. So, Mr. Bradford, I'll let you go ahead. And if you want to uh, accept the award for her, that'd be fine. Okay. Well, now I'll start with uh, Evan. Yes, yeah, sir. Evan Grove up here and uh, Coach Minecraft. And his family, you guys want to stand up here with him? Love I know you do. Not really. <laughs> Come on. Whatever. He did all the work. So, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to turn things over to Mr. Kraft and let him recognize uh, Evan Wingrow. All right, well, uh, Evan Wingrow, he's the uh, 2024 Georgia 4 8 state champion at 190 pounds, and he may look a little beat up to you. <laughs> Virginia Beach, where he is now the national uh, the, the Georgia or no, no, the National High School Coaches Association uh, national runner-up uh, at 195 pounds. So he's he. Uh, <laughs> you guys are the highest that we've ever had anyone accomplish from uh, Harry Child School wrestling. And uh, maybe uh, it's at the senior level in, the, in Catoosa County, as far as I know. So uh, uh, we're really proud of him. He's done an awesome job. He's a senior this year, and he's uh, put in his whole life. Uh, <laughs> since four years old, he started off in our youth program and, uh, and came all the way up through. And uh, he's done an awesome job. And we're super proud of him. And he's signed to go on and wrestle at Ohio University, which is his dad's alma mater. And uh, so that's all, another special thing, too. Mom, Dad, y'all come on down here with me. So look, come on, come on. Right, come on, I got you, I got you. So look, we're going to face the board. Come on, Evan. Right. You're kind of a small guy, so I'm going to put this out here. Put traffic center here. Now, Mr. Bradford, you also are going to go ahead and talk, let's talk about Emily and what she did and why it was so special. Okay, so Mr. Nix, um, board members. Emily's not here tonight. We've got a mix up and it cannot be Emily's fault. I'll just tell you right now. She is so much smarter than I can even think of being. She's brilliant. Uh, she is a product of Catoose County Schools, went to Battlefield Primary, Battlefield Elementary, Heritage Middle School, Heritage High School. This year, we were going to recognize her as a Skills USA state champion in mathematical application. So there are 380,000 students nationwide that participate. Uh, in Skills USA, she is the one state champion from Georgia, and she'll have the opportunity to go on and compete at the national level. Um, she is also Heritage High School's first National Merit Scholarship finalist. Okay, so the way you qualify for that uh, is 1.3 million uh, juniors will take the PSAT. That puts them in the pool, and they choose the top one half of 1% of those students to award scholarships to. 
So right now it's narrowed down to 15,000. Of those 15,000, like 7,140 students in the nation will receive a scholarship. And she is one of those finalists waiting to see of the $28 million award, what her award would be. Um, she is brilliant, brilliant. She took advantage of every opportunity we had and took several AP classes on her own that we couldn't fit in her schedule and just studied and took the courses. She's a brilliant, hardworking student. Um, her, her family's exceptional and uh, really proud of what she's accomplished. Every year uh, since I've been principal at Heritage High School, I get that National Merit Scholarship book. And it comes out, and it's got everybody in the nation that's awarded. And I, I look through it, and usually there's a couple within a 50-mile radius. They're usually Macaulay, GPS, Baylor. Every once in a while, Dalton will have one. Uh, this is our first one. So we're extremely proud of her um, and everything that she's accomplished. And she's also the uh, the president of FBLA. At, uh, Just go ahead and plug that in. <laughs> right, so, Evan, uh, I have, this is the most incredible award you will ever receive in your life. I don't care if you win at the Olympics. This is it. Somebody give me a ladder. I'm super proud of you, and uh, I, I just, you're just awesome what you've accomplished. I know a lot of hard work that you put into that, and I know you guys put a lot of hard work into it, and right here as well. So I'm super proud of you. If you guys have got just a minute, I want you to stand up front. We'll get a picture with the board. Y'all good with that? All right. Marissa, it's up to you. Get us in line. Come on up here, Ron. Line up to no, no, no. You're going to go on here. Okay. Right here. Yes. No. Back row. Uh, back row. Uh, no. Back row. 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 Back Evan, by the way, you can wear that graduation. Oh, no. uh, it's going to be more important than any other thing you have. That's the one. And if you guys just want to have a seat, uh, the chairman will give you an opportunity after the recognitions to leave if you would like. Okay. Carry on, sir. Uh, Ringo High School. Where's Mr. Moss? There you are. Come on up here, sir. So David, I'm going to let you address the board and you just kind of talk a little bit about what, just like Roddy just did. Right here. Uh, I get Pierce. There uh, you are. Pierce, if you'll come up, and your family, if you'll come up. Pierce is from Ringgold High School. As Evan, he's a, a state champion. He wrestled 138 this year. This is uh, his second wrestling state title. He, had, he dominated the season. He had 21 pins and 12 tech falls. Pierce is a very motivated, driven young man, and he trains year-round in the wrestling room and in the field house. Um, not only is he an outstanding wrestler, he's, he's a great student at, at Ringgold High School, and he's also just a, a good person. And I really enjoy getting to spend time with, with Pierce and his family. Um, thank you guys for recognizing the second state title. And we're hoping to come back next year and get us third. That's awesome. Yeah. Woo. 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 You guys, just to come right up here, just like we just did. So come on up here, Pierce. Come on up here, neighbors. And Miss Brown will get us in. Get us in line. Oh, yep. we're going, we're going we'll get that first. Which way Somewhere. first? No, yeah, I'll get it for you. Okay. So, like I said. This is the best award that you will ever receive, my son. And uh, you hang on to that. You can wear it at your graduation. I hope you come back and get another one next year. And then it's good to see you guys here. Thank you so much for that. And uh, I'm super proud of you and all the hard work that you put in to getting this. Um, there's something about you guys. Wrestlers always have, like, the same jawline. Every time I see these guys, it's like, 
Uh, did, you could just tell they're fit. They work out hard, and I appreciate you, Coach, and Mom, Dad. I appreciate you for all your support because I know this doesn't happen without you. You sacrifice a ton of time as well, and I'm super proud of you. So stand up here. Let's get a picture with the board. You me go first. I got you. Second one. Second. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Okay, and now, um, girl, all you get. Okay, so oh, you guys. Who's got one more year here? One more year. Absolutely. So we'll have three of those. Okay, so we have a lot of people. That's right. I tried there. I'm in the front. 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 Get behind me, and then you two get on the end. Right, you want to show the Okay, so if you're in the back, yes. you're in the back, you've got to look through the window. <laughs> so here's the window. Yes. Okay. Well done. Let's give another hand, guys. Thank you, sir. Well done, sir. We're sure it's going to be a marathon tonight, isn't it? So, uh, where's Miss O'Dell? Annie with uh, Elaine. There you are. Yep. Elena, Sydney. Well, you, you get to just, you know what's going to happen now. So you guys, are, come on up here, guys. Remember, we're going to face the board. Come to the board. Come on. Each one on each side. Come over here. All right. Well, these young ladies are Elena Baker and Sydney Wright. And they're two of my students who just knocked it out of the park this year. We had a whole group of kids, like 17 of us, right, that said we were going to take on um, some facet of the tech fair this year. And they took, uh, we had several, how many of we have go on to the next level? Several, right? A couple, well, three of you. Three of you went on to the next level, to so like the district level. And they took their project and all the feedback that they got from um, their uh, evaluators. And they just, they dug in. They didn't, I didn't help them at all. I mean, they were just like, we got this, we got this, we got this. And they ended up going and winning the state championship. <laughs> multimedia applications and it came from their love of reading and that they wanted to create something that was interactive that you could use in the library and the media center and uh, would help you um, figure out like what it is you wanted to, to read and, and it had all kinds of neat little links and things like that in there and I'm just I mean I'm just so proud the other thing that's really cool is, is that Sydney is, is moving but God kind of gave her just a little extra time so that she could work with Elena so that it could be a team. And oh. so they, she stuck around just long enough to, that they could do that. I think if Sydney hadn't been around, I don't think that they would have been able to do it. I think they needed to be, needed to be together. So we're really grateful that they could be a team. So, congrats. Awesome. Can I ask your parents to come on up? Your families? They're very special. I love those kind of tears. I'll take those. Are you ready? Congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys. And like I said before, I know this is a lot of hard work, and I appreciate you guys for being so supportive. One thing I certainly know, any kid that's successful, uh, mom and dad has a tremendous amount to do with it. And I'm so proud of you guys for standing the gap for them. Come on over here, Ms. Odell. Uh, thank you for all the time that you take out of your schedule. These are extra things. Some people don't know that, that you take extra time. This is just extra things that you do on top of your regular schedule, and it makes a tremendous difference in the lives of, uh, of our kids, and I really appreciate you for doing that. And let's give them another hand, guys. Right, come on up here. Okay. <laughs> Get the <laughs> I'm going to have control on my one. Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
Oh, really? up every time we do the picture. <laughs> Come on, Jay Rob. You can't do it by yourself. It's intimidating. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, hey. Thank you, thank you. So, Miss J. Rob, what are you talking so, about? So, I'm so excited to be here tonight. I love any opportunity to celebrate my teachers. Um, this is Miss Stacy Wilson. Um, she teaches second grade at Valleyfield Primary School, and she was the recipient of the Golden Apple Award through News Channel 12. And so, um, Miss Wilson has been a teacher at Valleyfield Primary School for three years. And so what stands out to me, I'll tell you a few things about her, uh, besides she's just wonderful. Um, her dedication to the school is just phenomenal. Um, she was a, uh, doing a long-term sub for one of our teachers when I first met her. And I did not have a position to offer her. And so, you know, I was like, well, we can write letters and recommendations to other schools. And she was like, no, I want to work here. And I was like, well, I don't have a position here right now. But, you know, you, you really need to go and apply. And she goes, I'll take anything you have. I just want to stay at this school. And so she was going to work as a paraprofessional. Um, and then a position opened up, and I was able to hire her as a first grade teacher. And she taught uh, preschool. You had your own daycare. Um, loves primary, but really loves, like, pre-K, kindergarten. Took her out of her comfort zone. She was a first grade teacher. She loved it. She did great. Um, and then I had to move her to second grade <laughs> the next year. And so what also stands out is that she does whatever it is that is best for kids. And that's what I needed her to do. She did it with a smile on her face, minimal tears, just because, you know, that's always shocking to have to move. But just always smiling, always positive. Um, if I have a student that needs extra love, extra support, I know if I have a kiddo in her room, that's what they're going to get. Um, and so her quote from her video, I, I just... I love it. It makes me smile when I, I don't know if y'all watched it, but at the end, what stands out, what do you want your kids to say about you was, they, my Miss Wilson loved me. She loved me when I was mean. <laughs> she loved me when I was nice. She loved me all the time. And that's true about her. Her kids will walk away doing that. And then also the high expectations she has while she's loving them and taking care of them. She's amazing. So super thankful for her. <laughs> proud of you and uh, I just appreciate all the hard work and all the time that you put into working with your kids and I know it's tough and I know sometimes they are little stinkers and they will wear you out and I appreciate your patience and all that you do to love on our kids and uh, I know I speak for all of us in the board. Uh, congratulations, super proud of you for winning that award and will you get a picture with us? Come right on up here. <laughs> Luke Wilson, come on up here, sir. I think you probably got my spot just looking. You could probably be right, right here, brother. Okay, that works, and then we'll put you here. And thank you. Whichever. Okay. 
Clothes change real quick. <laughs> yeah, wardrobe change. <laughs> And then, oh, finally, here. Not finally. Well, on this, on this piece. Oh. Where is Miss Haynes? Come on up here, Miss Haynes. I'm so proud of the work that you have done and your team with letters training. Um, Mr. Chairman, I think you know that we were way ahead of the governor on starting with our literacy. We did not wait for Atlanta to tell us what to do. Gina got out in front of this early, and because of that, we are miles ahead of where uh, we would be had we waited. And uh, Ms. Haynes is going to talk to us a little bit about letters and, and these I'm awards. And celebrate these ladies. So I couldn't have done this by myself. Some of our rock stars, my literacy rock stars, I'll come on up. I'd like to celebrate and introduce you to these wonderful ladies. Yep, there's one here. We have Joni Crystal from Boynton, Candy Carter is from Wood Station, Rebecca West is from Graceville, and we have Leah Mathis from Battlefield, Michelle Rogers from BPS, and Angie Owens is from Cloud Springs. And these ladies are truly literacy rock stars. They are our letters facilitators. So not only have they gone through letters training, but these ladies went an additional uh, took two additional courses to become our facilitators, and so we have our own trainers for our county, um, and we are, they've done an amazing job. I've sat through many sessions of letters, and I think we outdo them all from compared to letters. So I keep telling them, you cannot leave me and go to letters. You have to stay. But it is a joy to work with these ladies and call them my comrades and my friends, and uh, we are privileged to have them in Catoosa County. So these are my literacy brains. I'm going to let you hand these out. Yes. Please come up here. Thank you. you did a lot with this as well. So thank you so much, guys. We've had a huge literacy push in our county um, getting in front of the, this. And uh, I do not have to tell you guys how important you are to making sure that um, our kids can read. And uh, you know more about it than anybody in the county. Um, you're the experts. And uh, I just wish that when I was a kid, I would have had teachers like you that are so skilled with the science of reading. And I appreciate all your hard work. Uh, one thing I know from letters is that it's not easy. I have heard that many times. This is intense training. It's very, very uh, challenging, uh, sometimes more than even folks doing their college work, and I, I know this was tough for you guys, and I appreciate you putting the time in and making a difference in the lives of our kids. Gina, thank you so much. I know you worked really, really hard with this. Okay, this is easy with them. This is easy with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Butler, thank you so much for supporting this as well. Um, huge difference that you guys are making in our literacy scores. Our third grade kids are killing it, and uh, we know they're going to continue to do that because of the hard work that you do. So uh, with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, if you would, you guys would come up, we'll get a picture with the board. Oh, you have to celebrate, you ladies. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got that coming up. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is not the first time. <laughs> okay.
Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm super proud to uh, introduce our new principal at Heritage uh, High School, Mr. Matt Phillips. Matt, where are you, sir? Come on up here, sir. Matt is uh, jumping at the bits. We're trying to get him out of the dock just as quick as we can, but he's trying to button up some things there. Uh, but I'm just super excited about introducing him to you. Uh, I know you're going to love him. Uh, just like the rest of our family, and I'm uh, just super excited for you. Uh, Mr. Bradford, as you know, is uh, retiring, and I want to congratulate him on his retirement, and uh, thank him for all of his service to uh, Catoosa County Public Schools. But, Matt, would you just say a word to the board? Sure. Um, well, thank you, number one, for the opportunity. I want to thank the Board of Education, Superintendent Nix, and uh, the rest of the, uh, the central office for giving me the opportunity to interview for the position, and, and, uh, and luckily, uh, giving it to me, I guess. So. I don't know if I won a survivor type race or whatnot, but uh, but I got it and I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, jumping at the bit is probably a good word to say. Uh, all of my dreams lately have been about work. Uh, so and then thinking through, you know, getting getting started up at Heritage, but just find myself being super thankful. It's great to meet all of you today and have been very blessed and welcome. I want to thank Mr. Bradford too. He's He's been great. Welcome me in and, and giving me time to go over things with me and help with a, a peaceful transition, so I'm just really appreciative and feel really blessed to be part of Coosa County Schools. Go Generals! Put people on either side of me to Right there. I'm okay. going to stay put. Here we go. You've got to get all the tall people first. Yes. No matter what they <laughs> Yeah. Get. Exactly. And. Let's start with tiptoes. Yes. Come here. Right here. And right here. Quick. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're good. Okay. So just make sure. Okay. Perfect. One, two, three. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Just a couple of things. Uh, we look forward to working with Matt at Heritage High School. I just want to recognize uh, Mr. Ronnie Bradford for all of his contributions to the Heritage community, Heritage Middle School, and Heritage High School, and, and just thank him for all the years of service that he's put in. Now, for all of everyone, we're getting ready to move into the business portion of the meeting, and believe me, what we've just been through is by far the most fun. You're welcome to stay, but we understand if teachers have things to get prepared, students have uh, studies to do, uh, but and before saying hit the door, I just want to say this is what makes Catoosa County great. The community is wonderful. See that the teachers and staff are wonderful and the kids are great. State championships are, it's just unimaginable have so many state championships in one little old county. I mean, it's, this is all of Georgia, 159 counties. And so anyway, congratulations to all of you. Look forward to seeing you again and all the, uh, the great futures you have. Thank you. Now, you can leave if you want to. You're welcome to stay. We understand. <laughs>
We have already decided to accept the agenda as presented and ready for information. Can I shut up? Can I? Chairman, uh, the human resources recommendations are uh, provided for your review. Thank you. Again, the short list at this time of year. We've had this, so any comment, question, or anything? Hearing none, to move on. Yes, sir. Item two, uh, the student services report is also attached. And we know if we have any specific questions, we know the appropriate folks to call and ask about since this is all related to students. So I think if everybody's ready, we can move on. Items three and four. Uh, there are uh, no bids on East Floss, but I did ask Chris just to provide a little bit of a quick update. Yes, sir. Good evening, guys. How are y'all? All right. It's uh, state competitions and technology wrestling and ladders. It gets a little rowdy out there. <laughs> <laughs> rowdy crowd. Um, good evening. Hey, just wanted to, just a, a couple of quick updates. Uh, I know you guys are aware of this, but uh, our groundbreaking at Boynton, finally scheduled. Okay, so we're excited about that. Uh, Thursday the 18th, 1 o'clock okay, at Boynton Elementary. Um, so we're, we're excited about that groundbreaking. At the next board meeting, I should have uh, updated pictures of a completed meeting facility at Ringo High School. So very excited about that. We'll go through punch list uh, next week and then hopefully by that same board meeting I'll have pictures of new signs out front and a couple of schools as well we did get west sides completed and it looks great and it's fixed now and that was kind of the one that was the original and then we moved on to our two battlefield project and so hopefully by that next meeting in May I'll have those updated projects and photos for you okay all right but we're looking forward to it. it's finally here groundbreaking we're excited so I know you guys are. We started dismantling Barnacle Bay yet? Are we close on uh, that? We're close on that. The fencing is up. Okay. Uh, Jen is coordinating uh, with some folks who want to come by and have a little souvenir and, and things like that. It's um, for a lot of folks, this is like a family member. Um, so, um, so anyway, it's, uh, it's very special to a lot of folks. And so there's opportunity for that. And then once that happened this week, uh, after this happens this week, then EMJ is ready to roll. Do you have a chance to go look at that yes, so I talked to um, Mr. Colworth. We looked at it out there, kind of got some thoughts, some ideas. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get Ray to go out there and take a look at it with us. Um, but yes, ma'am, we are working on that, and Matt's aware, and he and I are talking. Yes, ma'am. And that's the modern situation outside. Okay. Any other questions? So LFO auditorium is... 100% finished. I know Hello, it's Hello, good good go. you know, that, you know so minor things here or there or whatever, but certificate of occupancy, all of that, it's ours. They are working uh, right now to get their high school musical show, uh, which you know starts next week, and so they're doing all of their stuff for that. This week, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this week. Because um, I know we've got a meeting over there uh, Thursday to look at something that, that they want to do, but um, they're, they're excited and ready to roll, and uh, it's, it's part of them now. Yeah. It's a great facility. It is. It is. It's amazing. It's 40,000 square feet of awesomeness. So I'm excited about it. I know they are too. So. And like we talked about several times, it's not just for LFO. It's just that whole community. That whole Lake Buford Old Thorpe community is going to benefit from it. It's a great thing. So, yeah. Any other comment, questions? Anybody? Uh, I did talk to some of the Port Oakport Commission members the other day, and they were all really breaking on the theater and how excited that Port Oakport was. 
a good talk with the theater kids just about you know setting the foundation for all the generations that you know are to come and West Side and Cloud Springs and Battlefield and community events and just all that you know they're kicking it off and I don't know they just they got it you know they understood and, and uh, like you talked about with ministers coming in and all that it's just, everybody that walks in there is just so proud and blown away by it. So. I went to see the Susical Susical Jr. Mm-hmm. And those kids, the very first night when it was over, and y'all probably heard me say it, but they were beside themselves. They were happy and squealing and jumping and dancing. And, and even Matt, he was, I mean, you could just see the pride that he had, almost tearful, you know. It was the sweetest thing I think I've ever seen. And the, the really cool thing about that was is that was after being in there for a whole week. Yeah. That, that, that whole feeling was there the entire week. From, it, the, yeah. from the moment they walked in until the conclusion of that first show there, they were on that that high the whole time. Yeah. They the kids out. walking in and seeing it for the first time and like, this is LFO, like, this is our school, this is that. Chance and I got to witness that firsthand. And I know that's something he and I will never forget. Yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was a banner day of what's been an incredible year, but that day stood out, that moment yeah. stood out, those kids getting to see that. They came great. out in the lobby and their parents and families and friends, and they were all crying. In a real lobby. You <laughs> in, know what I mean? In, in the a real, real lobby. lobby of a and they real had the, you know, the flowers that they give the theater kids, and it was just, it was remarkable that day. So, And they were the middle schoolers, so I'm, Absolutely. I'm anxious to see what the high school does. So. She was ready to roll, man. Yeah. She's chomping at the bit as well. A lot of chomping at the bit going on right now. So, her as well. So. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That's good for us. On the financial report. Yes, sir. Dr. Carter. Good evening. <clears throat> for February 2024, uh, general fund balance sheet, we've got total assets of $17,150,544. Uh, total liabilities of $14. Fund balance of $17,150,530 uh, for our total liabilities and fund balance of $17,150,544. On the statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance, total revenues and other sources, eighty million six sixty nine one ninety one. Total expenditures and other uses, seventy one million eight sixty one four fourteen. For that fund balance of seventeen million one fifty five thirty. For the East Lost financials, for capital projects funds. Balance sheet February 2024. Total assets 12,065,794. Total liabilities 1,778,240. Fund balance 10,287,554 for a total liabilities of fund balance of 12,065,794. On well, the statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance, total revenues and other sources 11,582,274. Total expenditures and other uses, 26630461 for a fund balance of 10287554 And for the debt service funds, February 2024 balance sheet, total assets and fund balance are the same, 8863210 On the statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance, total revenues and other sources, 11413506 Total expenditures and other uses, Eleven million two fifteen seven twenty five for that fund balance of eight million eight sixty three two ten. Any questions? Did you share with them? I just yeah, I was going to ask. When, how long do you think before you the dust begins to settle for what all the things that went on in Atlanta this session will mean to us for next year? Um, I mean, we won't get. Uh, numbers on our allotted amount of funds from the state probably until late May at the earliest. Um, but I'm working this week now that all that dust is settled to, you know, do projections on kind of what they have laid out, um, assuming the governor signs everything. Um, signatures. I think May 7th is the end of that 40 days that he has. Yeah. Uh, so the, the three big things we've talked about in various capacities, you know, the homestead exemption got doubled statewide from 2000 to 4000 That'll have a minimal impact on our tax digest, but it'll have an impact. Um, they, they, uh, the law that got signed into place ended up not capping inflationary increases on homes at 3%. It, it has to match the rate of inflation, so that's good. Um, obviously, 
that makes sense. If, if inflation in general goes up 5%, then homes going to go up 5% in that year. Um, there's some concerns with the sales ratio studies that I've talked to you guys about before that I'm trying to get answers on now to kind of see how that works out. Um, and then the changes to the cost of health insurance. Um, there was a little surprise there at the end where they increased classified health insurance costs um, early. You know, it was originally going to go up uh, to $1,760 a month per person um, that has health insurance in our classified groups in 2027. Um, but they kind of accelerated that path and it's going to go up to $1,580 this January. So that'll obviously impact next year's budget um, by, by the tune of about $2 million is my projections right now. Um, there's some good news as well, you know, more money for transportation, money for SROs and all the schools. Uh, QB, the QBE formula is going to be fully funded. Um, you know, so there, there are some good things as well, but my hope and what I've told uh, Superintendent Nick and Dr. <laughs> Butler is that hopefully by the end of this week, I'll have a pretty solid projection on what next year is going to look like. Um, once we get our state and local information from there, we'll be able to nail it down further. Okay. Sure, you're on top of it. <laughs> he is on top. Of yeah, um, like Mr. Phillips said, I'm, I dream a lot about work this time of year, so uh, I'm, uh, you know, doing projections in my sleep right now. So. Mr. Chairman, I would like to just say a personal point of privilege, brag on Austin. He, uh, I think this is four years in a row now that he's completed the audit without any findings and. Not every system can say that, um, and I think you and I both met with the auditors, uh, some things they've had to put in place for systems who continually do not meet that standard, and I'm super proud of him. Uh, we're going to have his team come in at a future board meeting and let you guys recognize all of them uh, just because it's, it's just fantastic, and I appreciate everything you do over there. You know, it's not the easiest job in the world and it's certainly not the funnest in my opinion but you love numbers so uh thank you so much you're welcome and I, like you said I, I, can't, I couldn't do it without the great team that i inherited when i came in four years ago um but we'll talk more about those guys in, in coming. thank you all thank you all okay so we are ready for action items and i believe these can be handled in the consent agenda Recommendations, Mr. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, I do recommend action items H1, uh, human resources recommendations be approved. H2, the February financial report. Uh, item H3, the February East Floss report. H4, the field trip requests. H5, the minutes from March the 5th of 2025 all be approved. Take your choice Thank Thank you. between the motion and the second. Got it. Thank right. you. Discussion. We've had these for a while, been able to get questions answered as prepared for tonight's meeting. Okay, those in favor? Motion carries to pass these five action items unanimously. So uh, we do not need to have an executive session. No, sir. Okay. So, is there a motion to adjourn? Second. Susan, on floor one. Those in favor? It's all right. We stand adjourned. Thank you, folks.